What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video from my channel. Today I have a really cool little tutorial and informational video on Bluetooth. So I want to talk about Bluetooth. So you can kind of understand where I'm going to be going in future videos. I want to talk about Bluetooth 5.3, uh, talk about bone conduction, an open ear, an RF type headphones. And so I'm kind of explaining this now. I have a, had a couple questions about what's the best Bluetooth to buy if you're buying a device. And so this will kind of explain some of that. So I definitely want to get into the tutorial, but first I just want to say thank you for tuning in DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. What do I like to do? I like to do review videos. I like to do tutorials. I like to just help and bring you this information. Uh, do all the research for you so you don't have to. Give it to you as easy as possible and then leave some links in case you're interested in the products review, the values I'm looking at, or just catch me on my next video. That would be awesome as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into this Bluetooth tutorial and just talk about Bluetooth. So what is Bluetooth? Bluetooth is a short range technology of exchanging data between mobile devices. So most likely you're thinking a Bluetooth mouse, a Bluetooth pair of headphones, a Bluetooth pair of earbuds, maybe a Bluetooth keyboard. There's tons of different devices that you can do but it's basically working on a frequency range of 2.4 different ranges. It can go to 2.4 to 2.48, but various and, and some actual devices actually work off multiple uh, to find you the best connection. So, but it's working off those frequency ranges basically. And it's basically so you can have a local little area where you're sharing that information between those devices. And that way you can use it to, you know, transfer audio transfer data to your mouse so you can use it or your keyboard and so it's just a little short range communication device within that device which is the bluetooth so that's pretty much what it is and it's been around for a long time steadily doing increments between so you had you started off bluetooth like bluetooth 1.0 then you went to 2.0 and then within those, they might have like a 2.2 or a 4.2 or, you know, you just go up increments. And so right now, currently we are at 5.4. You won't find those very regularly uh, because it's really new technology. But 5.3 is something that you can find in headphones right now these days and different devices. So I want to talk about the benefits of what each one has uh, come to today. So. In 2016, we, we had a pretty big one, which was the 5.0. Most of the devices that you're purchasing will have at least the 5.0 Bluetooth, but you might wanna just check, and this is something that I wanna talk about. So you definitely wanna check to see what you're getting, depending on what devices you're using. So if you're using a mouse or a keyboard, you know, older Bluetooth are still gonna work pretty decently for those, but you know, you want the best connection, the most power efficient, and those types of things, you're wanna get at least Bluetooth 5.0. So, like I said, if you're still working with the four and that's those, that's fine, I'm just saying that you definitely wanna to try to at least upgrade to 5.0, which has been around since 2016. So, you know, that's seven years of technology uh, going on in there, and so you at least wanna be at the 5.0, and most of your devices should be, so you should be okay. But if you wanted some upgrades, I'm gonna tell you why it would be kind of important and helpful to upgrade some of these. So what came in that 5.0 from going from 4.2 or wherever we were at to 5.0, it doubled the transfer rate speed, so you had better speeds, faster performance, and also, you know, quadrupled the range. So you could have up to 240 meters. Now, not all devices are gonna have that range, but it can have up to that range. So, and, and 240 meters is like 700 feet. So that definitely is a pretty big range uh, around that Bluetooth for the performance. Now Bluetooth so, 5.0 uh, doubled that rate of speed, quadrupled the range, and then also better had, power efficiency as well. Every time they've done these increments, it definitely improves those types of things. So let's go to 5.1, which basically was the location. It really improved location and tracking and locating the devices, and they could actually like tell how far each one was. Um, that is going to help you with your performance because if it can track itself and know you know how to efficiently send that those um, that feedback back and forth 
you're gonna have better performance in your device. So that's kind of what the 5.1 update did. When we went to 5.2, that was very significant for audio because when we went to 5.2, check my notes here, yes, it enabled in 2020 multiple devices so you could connect multiple devices to your Bluetooth devices still continued to work on the better efficiency and the power efficiency so you know they called it the low audio or the low energy audio update so not only did it help audio sound quality it lowered latency it also had a different codex the lc3 codex for audio and it, it improved that like i said performance with you know your power rating so you're not using as much power to be able to use these bluetooth chips so you then it's going to improve your battery life and things like that bluetooth 5.2 was a big improvement for audio so if you're looking for bluetooth headphones i would at least say these days, if you're making those purchases, at least look for audio at Bluetooth 5.2. came out in 2021, but it wasn't really released because of, you know, COVID and things like that till May uh, of 2022, and that's Bluetooth 5.3, which still did the continuation of better power efficiency, increased reliability, and then it also added some better security performance and help with interference and, you know, also that energy performance so um, that's not really very important with your headphones I don't think but maybe if you're using you know device device transferring Blue data through Bluetooth uh, maybe a lot of those things work with you know the cards card readers and if you're scanning your phone to make purchases that type of Bluetooth you do want better security because you don't want that stuff hacked and all that kind of stuff uh, those have been some improvements with Bluetooth 5.3 now that wasn't super important for audio, but you know, better performance for latency and better performance for your low energy, which makes it last longer battery wise. So your power efficiency, increased reliability and better security is all, is all positive when it comes to you know headphones as well. So, or if you're looking these days for Bluetooth headphones, you at least want Bluetooth 5.2 because that was a very big audio improvement. Or you can check out for those uh, Bluetooth 5.3 headphones, which there's, there's a handful, there's not a lot of them, but they will increase and help with, you know, uh, battery life and improved, improved performance. So if you're looking these days for Bluetooth audio, of course, it's always better to upgrade to the best that you can. But like I said, I don't think Bluetooth 5.3 is better, super big performance boost from Bluetooth 5.0 because that was an actual uh, for audio. So if you're looking for those two these days, you know, some people will argue, but like I said, at least I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying you at least want Bluetooth 5.2 or above. Uh, Bluetooth 5.3 is great. I do have some Bluetooth 5.3 uh, devices. And just remember too, that if you have, say you're using a Bluetooth transmitter that has Bluetooth 5.0, but you're using a brand new pair of those bright and shiny 5.3 headphones, you're still going to be at the Bluetooth 5.0 performance because you have to have equal Bluetooth devices to be able to work at that performance. So it just reverts down. So if you have a Bluetooth 5.0 transmitter in your phone and you got those brand new 5.3 headphones, it's still gonna work at whatever that device broadcast that Bluetooth signal at. So uh, that's one drawback to thinking your performance is gonna be better because you went out and bought those Bluetooth 5.3 headphones. But if your phone is a Bluetooth 5.2 or a Bluetooth 5.1 or Bluetooth 5.0 and it's using that signal, it's going to revert down. So that is one of the big things that I wanted to kind of put out in this video and make it known that no matter what you get, you kind of have to kind of match the technology. So I recently went and bought a Bluetooth 5.3 transmitter and I bought a pair of Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth 5.3 headphones. And when they work together, you can, you can see some of that performance working with DJing and things like that. But you definitely have to be on the same platform with 5.3 and 5.3. Uh, because it will revert down to whatever your device performance is at. So if you have an older phone and it's Bluetooth 5.0, uh, 
no matter what you do, what you upgrade to, you're not going to get that Bluetooth 5.3 performance unless your device is actually broadcasting out at that. So just something to keep in mind. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because um, maybe some people didn't know that. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. We'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully this is helpful. And like I said, I got all kinds of headphones and uh, devices coming up where I'm gonna be explaining some more and some reviews on some good headphones as well. So thank you so much. Got tons of videos coming this summer. So stay tuned with DJ Martini Midwest reviews and welcome to the Martini Nation. Please like, subscribe.